Hey, what's going on, my fellow reefers? March here. Frag Box TV. This is disgusting. Hold on. This came out of Tia's tank, so we're going to give her the microphone and the camera. Okay. Hi, guys. Clip that on. Hi, YouTube. How are you? Here in Hi. the box. Okay. Take over. Here, clip it. Clip, so, clip it? March style, yes. Okay. Hold on. One second. Wait, so this, March. What? Clip it. Just clip it. Clip it to your shirt. Don't this look, don't look at me. The, uh, take it home. Yeah. This disgusting room. This is why you should dip. Yeah, guys, dip your corals. So I learned the hard way because I have been losing snails oh, for. Oh, put me behind the camera. The, okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys will get to see March for once. So I've been losing my cleanup crew, specifically my snails, for the better part of a year and a half. And yeah, you have to take it out. We'll get oh, some tweezers and take it out. And I always thought maybe I had a leopard flatworm. I'd kind of come to terms with it. Welcome here. And then I started smashing, smashing, oh my god, how do you say that? Smashing some rock up because I wanted to change my aquascape up, and this thing popped its nasty head out. So this is called an orange worm, or a, there's another name for it, but it's not a bobbit worm, which I thought it was. It's a mollusk eating bristol worm type thing that's like a foot long. <laughs> It does not eat corals, specifically mollusks, so like clams, snails, th those guys. Yeah, look at this. But this is a good segment on why you should be dipping your corals because clearly oh. it's one. Oh, oh, March broke it into two, but Son it was one. Businessman. Don't grab it hard, just I'm grab not, it soft. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, look at this thing. This <laughs> is one worm, and March broke off a bit of it. That's gross. Yeah. Okay, it's over, it's gotta be over a foot, a foot long. That's yeah. Foot. Maybe more. That's really gross. Isn't that gross? <laughs> do, we, um, do we use the knife? What do we do with it? I was going to keep it as a pet. You're so weird. No, I you're don't know what I'm going to do. I can't flush really? it. That's an. Or that's a thing. That weird guy. The guy that said if you ever get weird shit like this, remember? He oh. does not want that. <laughs> we are not giving that. <laughs> Easily? Yeah. Avoidable. Easily don't be like me. Dip your corals. Do we, we learn the hard way. Do we dip it and to show people how it reacts? Is that mean? Yeah. It's kind of mean. That's not. It's still a living animal. Yeah, it's too big. You know, like if I couldn't see it, maybe. Hold on, but we stay, what if I call this guy right now? Hold on, let's, let's record this. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah, yeah. Don't offer. I am gonna. I'll murder it before you give it to that guy. That's poor tank. Hold on. I, I say to him as like, we call me if you get weird shit, guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. Uh, Dip your corals, please. Oh, maybe he follows the channel. He guy, might. Guy that likes weird stuff. When you uh, don't don't listen to March. March is telling you to come and take this thing. Don't take it home. It eats your snails. It'll eat your clams. Clams too. Yeah, clams are mollusks. I've never heard of this thing. Yeah, it's gross. It's called an orange worm. I don't know the scientific name. Maybe March can put it up as a pop up on the YouTube video, but orange orange worm. Reef what do I search? Orange? Search orange worm reef tank. Here, let's it's look. It's called the Onone Fungida. That's it. Also known as the orange worm or clam worm. Clam worm. It's a predatory marine worm that preys on snails, mollusks, and clams. Some aquarists report them predating on LPS polyps too. Ooh, didn't you have, you didn't have blasto that died recently unexplainably? No, that's because I redid my plumbing and we can talk about that at a later date at how insane I am, but I redid my whole plumbing. Did you just and submit or everything lived in insane? I'm insane. Oh, okay. uh, everything lived in buckets for like three days while I did this thing. I replaced my stand and it, oh, it's looks, crazy. That looks a lot like that. It is that, yeah. That is it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, if we pull up a this weird creepy thing, no. No. Medusa oh this is that's different. a medusa worm. Those are good filter feeders usually, mm, right? I'm gonna disagree. Mm, I, think I had a medusa worm once, it was brown though, and it was okay, it was a filter feeder it went away on its own. Medusa worm reef safe. Okay is it just me or do you not take the first thing that comes on Google as like the holy word of this is like this is true. That's true yeah I yeah. do that as but well. But you know what it is it's just this guy. Gets the most views. That's it yeah. Okay but it says look yes they are Medusa worms are reef safe according to that. To him, I don't know. That's that, it yeah. That so doesn't I, look very reef safe to me. It's fine. Okay but the pull North up. American fish breeders keeps one of these in his coral beds. It's disgusting and it goes through and he uses it to, to clean sand. D it's probably amazing. It's big, yeah. it's enormous. Yeah. yeah, it's really creepy and it like just like <laughs> eats shit. Okay, pull up bobbit worm. So this is what I thought it was and I've heard horror stories about these guys eating fish, your hands and crab. No, these guys are this. terrifying. Look but this, one of the first videos I ever uploaded. 
going back. Wow, thank you. 10.6 subscribers. I mean, yeah. 10,000. Yeah, you guys are you guys amazing rock. fans. We thank love you. you. By the way, you if, we, if we haven't told you recently in any of the video, we love you. You guys are the best. <laughs> uh, look, this is going back seven years, eight years. Yeah. Where is it? Worm. Black bobbit, bobbit, bobbit worm. Five years ago. This thing, it, this was gross. Oh, yeah. And it had a little baby. Wait, yours is black? Yeah, black, yeah. Yeah, aren't they like metallic, kind of oil oh, slick looking? Oh, black. He's huge. Yeah. This was like a chunky cucumber with legs. It was disgusting. Gross, yeah. I'm thankful my orange worm was not one of these, but I, you know what? It very well could have been a bobbit worm if I had not have found it. Could have started eating all my corals and stuff. Thank God my corals are okay. It's really gross. But my snails aren't, oh, so... Wait, wait. What if we feed it to something? Is that, is that mean? Because I look. think arrow crabs might eat it, but this one is too big. I don't think it'll eat it. You Why can try, try, but what if you okay, lose so it? If this was in the ocean and we did this, that's just natural. That, that's what happens. What eats... Yeah, something eats it. No, but I mean, it's not so mean. I'm not just going to throw it in the garbage. I'm going to feed it. Like, if that's I go true. Out and eat okay, but that's like $200 worth of snails. Vegans. I know. If we go out and eat burgers. This is, this no is my snail that, right? fun, though. You're feeding my snail fun to something else. So, it ate all my snails. Except for cowries. Um, gold oh. ring cowries seem to be resistant to these things, by the way. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, March's sidetrack of the day. No, I just want to show people we got them in stock finally. Yeah, Harlequin and they're, they're huge. Are they a different color than normal? They look cool. No, they're just monsters. Oh, show them these too. Oh, cool invert. Update, here lettuce, we go. Lettuce nudies. Yeah, First. So these are a good cleanup crew member. Yeah. <laughs> Eat algae. And we have a little hair algae problem in here. Yeah, okay, let's try they're munching. Out. Okay. Try from the top, How does it focus nice? Here you get in there. Let's see. Oh no, it's, we're going from, from the, the side. Top? Yeah. Is this one, this big one. This one? Yeah. Oh, hi guys. Hi YouTube. Okay, let's try. So ignore me and watch the arrow craft. Let's see. Oh my god, this is so gross. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh my god. All right, arrow crabs for the win. Yeah, this one. Let's give him some. Zoom out a bit. Let's see. I can't. Okay, so if you've got a problem with bristle worm, fire worms, wow. Oh my god. Orange worms. Oh. 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 Get an arrow crab. There we go. Wow, look at him. Look, he's, he's really he's actually going at it. I'm gonna, I might take home an arrow crab, <laughs> just in case there's another one. Yeah, hold on, I think there's another arrow crab here we can keep, so that's it. Yeah. I wonder how long that's gonna take to eat. Let's see. He's ripping him up. Okay, but he's trying to get away. Oh, Where he's is not, he? He's not going anywhere. Look at this one. Yeah, he's, he, these guys are done. Thank Hope you. Hope we didn't upset any viewers with that, eh? Yeah, well, this is a part of the hobby. I mean, dip your corals if you don't get an arrow crab. <laughs> that's the other option. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? When I buy, when I buy, I don't buy anything because I own the um, when I add, when I add, uh, you give me the camera back? Yeah. Are you done talking? Yeah. When I add, I'm going to clip this on. When I add, if I say that one more time, I'm going to end the video. When I add cleanup crew to a tank, I usually think of cleanup crew as like cleaning a tank algae wise. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't think. You never think about other pets. Natural predation like this, yeah. but it's actually. It's working. Yeah, like he's, he's happy. He's going to town. Oh, wow. That's an all you can eat buffet. Even with yeah. these, the harlequins, we didn't really mention it at all in the video, but these guys, as you can see, this poor starfish wasn't doing too well. These guys eat starfish. And people think that these astrinas, oh, let me show you one here. Yeah. Asterina, whatever, these little starfish are bad. I don't think so. I have another video talking about it. Just um, Google search YouTube video. Does that make sense? Google YouTube search um, astrina starfish. I don't think they're bad for the tank, but some people think they do. I, I guess too much of anything is bad if you get like a crazy outbreak. So, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll wrap it up. Did I don't know. Corals? How did I end up with the camera again? Because I wanted to, to be in front of it. That one ton of is really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really nice fish. Yeah, dip your corals. Like the ones I just dipped here. Oh, I don't know. That guy's touching. No touchy. Touchy, no yeah. good. Yeah, dip your corals. That's, that's the point of today's video. Avoid stuff like that. Uh, you are going to kill the good too, which kind of sucks. So you're going to kill, sorry, just moving this thing in here. You're also oh. going to kill the pods. You just focused on my cool pants. They're, they're, they're cool pants. pants. They're, they're dope. You're also, oh, speaking about clothing and cool pants. No, I'm going to do another video. We're going to, we're going to come out with some frag box, uh, merchandise, the merch. We're going to need some ideas. Yeah, we're going to need March's some ideas. Mar <laughs> Mar no, we're not calling it March's merch, but yeah. yeah, we need, we need some, we need some ideas. So that's going to. That'll be on the next one. We're gonna wrap it up. I think you should wrap it up. It's your video. Yeah. Okay, here, take the microphone back, here. You and your nice nails. My nice nails. All right, everyone, so 
Word of advice, anywhere you buy your corals, dip them. You never know what small little tiny egg is coming into your tank. Um, you can have many different people dipping them along the way, but if you don't do it, then it doesn't matter. Buy There's this. March. Buy dip. Revive is great if you haven't dipped before. Uh, Coral RX comes with an easy one and a very concentrated one that's also easy to use. Doesn't matter as long as it's dip and kills inverts, it's good. <laughs> All right. Happy reefing, and we'll see you next time.